I'm super pumped to be here. As you can tell, like I'm kind of excited. I know you guys are sitting at your home. You're like, wow, who's this dude? Um, I'm, I'm a father, so I wanted to throw a picture of my kids in there. Uh, I have three kids. My oldest is seven, and my youngest just turned four. And she's the girl. She's the boss lady. Um, and um, yeah, she uh, she has like the best emotional intelligence. She like she can say the right thing at the right time to control my wife and I's brain. Um, so yeah, it's a little picture of my kids right there. Uh, I wear many hats, but uh, the three buckets that it falls under, there's actually like a fourth bucket, but it's not on this slide. Um, but the three buckets is workforce success, education success, and community success. Regarding workforce and community, it's all like intertwined by the experiences I've had, um, which has led a lot around community empowerment and education. So early on, in my career, I got a really amazing opportunity to work for this really innovative, competency-based education for adult learners. And during that time, um, it was just a concept. And we were supposed to come up with student success strategy that was going to support the virtual adult learners who were coming from employer partners in order for them to do well. From McDonald's, UPS, Dunkin' Donuts, some community partners like Core Network, Urban League, uh, even cities like uh, the city of Memphis, that was one of my account earlier. And my job was to figure out what was it going to take in order to have the students succeed in a virtual space. So this is blue collar American uh, coming from the workforce that have worked their whole entire life, have hit a ceiling in their career and they need to move on. We ended up scaling the program from zero student all the way to 5,000 students by the time I transitioned out. So a lot of my experience comes from that. And one of the coolest things for a lot of the work that I do, I'm always grounded on what is the human experience that's driving this particular issue or problem or this solution. And I spend a lot of time getting to know people. And then through that experience is how I design my work. I get the opportunity to work with students outside of the classroom environment. And part of that experience, it allows me to see all the different moving parts that students have to offer um, that might not be uh, able to be highlighted within a classroom. A lot of the work that I do, it really focuses around the being and the doing and empowerment. If we don't focus on the being of the students, we're not gonna be able to get to the heart of what's driving them, what's motivating them, what's impacting them. If we only focus on the doing, and most of the time as educators, the doing is really uh, the direct assessment, right? It could be formative or summative. Then we're missing out on all the other moving parts that students have to offer. Students are looking for alliance, right? They're looking for someone that's in their team. I did a presentation yesterday to a group of teachers and I was talking about um, how, how important it is to make your intention, your positive intention that you feel around your classroom, around your students to come to life. And one of the things that I, I, I focus a lot on is that it's a mutual thing, regardless of you know, the students not being able to speak the language properly or some of the challenges that they face. When they have that connection with you, they're going to they're gonna most likely engage with you and you're going to get the insight that you need in order to best serve them and provide them with the resources for them to excel.